Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you don't know me, my name is Samantha and I do fashion and lifestyle videos here on YouTube. I know it's been a while, but I'm happy to be back because this will hopefully be a new series on my channel where I get to show you all of the new things that I've been loving and all of the old things that I'm still loving. I think that just as it's important to introduce new beautiful pieces into our wardrobe, it's also really important to know how to be able to wear the pieces that we already have. And so I think this will be a really fun way for me to be able to share how I transition older pieces from one season to the next, or perhaps even if my style has changed a little bit, how I can take an older item that I used to love and maybe not so much, um, how I can take that item and restyle it in a new way that makes me feel beautiful. But anyways, before we start the video, don't forget to subscribe as I would love, 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 love for you guys to join the family. Um, as well, I will leave my Instagram somewhere up here for you. Um, that way you guys can follow me over on Instagram as well. But anyways, let's get into this shopping my wardrobe series. First up in this video is going to be a couple accessories. This is the fun part about this series is that I get to show you whatever it is that I've been loving, okay? It doesn't just have to be clothes. But I'm going to start off with my most recent handbag purchase. And this was one that has been in the making for quite some time because I have been looking for a white bag. And I will show you a couple pictures here of styles that I had been eyeing up. I'm very picky with my bags because I like them to be very functional. I wear my bags all the time. I do a lot of walking with my bags. So I always want to ensure that I'm buying a bag that is going to get used. Let me introduce to you my Dior saddle bag. Now this one is in the white leather and I believe, and it's kind of confusing, this is the large size, but when you go on the website, this is just called the saddle bag. I believe there's a mini saddle bag, there might be even a micro saddle bag, but this is just the saddle bag. It doesn't have like an, a size within the name. Um, and I got it with the just the gold hardware. So the first thing that I wanna talk about is the size because that is the question that I get the most, you know, um, is it does it fit things in it? Is it usable? Is it functional? And my answer to that is yes, but only in this size. I think if you go down a size, it's very cute. Let me tell you, it's very, very cute. It's gonna be very tempting to get the smaller size of the saddlebag. Um, but if you want a functional bag, it's not gonna be worth your money whatsoever. Um, this bag fits quite a lot in here. Um, I've already got a couple things in here um i've got some lipsticks and stuff in there but i myself can fit my wallet my camera i've got an iphone max i think this is a 12 pro max that fits in there seamlessly um, and i can also fit my wallet and other little kind of knickknacks in there so it's quite functional in that sense and then when it comes to actually wearing the bag it's really flat which is really comfortable some bags can be really bulky when they sit on your hip and that can be very uncomfortable this one's really nice because you can see it does bend in quite a bit and even when it's quite full it's still quite comfy unfortunately though this bag comes as a top handle now i have a wonderful sales associate who sat down with me and really thought this bag through with me and he essentially said look if you're someone who wears top handles all the time you know this one really comfortably sits on your shoulder like i said it's really flat, it's really comfy to wear as like a shoulder bag. I am not a shoulder bag person, okay? I like a crossbody strap. And so I made the decision to buy a crossbody strap to go with it. And the reason I decided to do that, there was no point in me buying a bag that I just wasn't gonna get the wear out of because I wasn't gonna wear this bag as often if I didn't have a crossbody. And so I went with this beautiful, I don't even know what you'd call it, kind of the crocheted style. This one says Christian Dior and I went with it in black. This exact strap comes in the navy blue, which actually would have matched my Dior slides perfectly, but I thought, you know what, this is gonna give me a little bit more versatility if it's black instead of blue. And um, I just thought it was so beautiful. It's modern on one side and a little bit more traditional on the other side, which I really, really love. This is a really, really exciting purchase for me, and I really think that this is gonna be a huge summer bag for me. Again, you can take the crossbody strap off and have it be really, really dressy for a night out. Or if you're wearing this during the daytime and you need it to be comfortable, then having that crossbody strap is something that I would honestly really, really recommend if you're like me and you like a crossbody style bag. So anyways, this is the first item in this video. And I'm very excited to show you this bag because I will actually be styling it throughout this video with the various other items in this video. 
Now, admittedly, Aritzia in the past has been one of my favorite, favorite places to buy tailoring. So trousers and blazers, I honestly think they do it so, so well. And at such an attainable price point. You know, these are suits that are meant to last you for for years, I think, I think in my mind, um, kind of those investment pieces, you know, you're gonna wear them to work, you're gonna wear them out, you're gonna wear them casually. But anyways, um, I have struggled with Aritzia recently because it just, they hadn't been producing as high quality of blazers as they used to. You know, when I look for blazers, I look for that high quality material. I want a nice, thick and structured blazer. And um, you know, if I was gonna pay $200 for it, the quality needed to be there. And it just hadn't been there for me until this beautiful, beautiful gal we have right here. So this is the Margot blazer in this beautiful tannin color. And thankfully, they also released the matching trousers, which I'll get to in a minute. But this is, if many of you have been following me for a while, you guys will know that I wear the black new Margot blazer so, 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 so much. This cut is identical to the new Margot blazer, although instead of being called the new Margot, it's just called Margot. Um, she comes in multiple colors, but I chose this beautiful kind of um, tannin color just because I thought it was going to be very, very beautiful for spring and summer. You can pair it with black or you can pair it with white. And again, you can wear each piece individually. So yeah, so that's the first piece. And for both of these, I got a size two. Let me show you the trousers from this set. All right, so we have the trousers here. As you can see, they have a beautiful color. And I'm going to take them off this hanger for you guys to see. So here we have the beautiful trousers. Now, for my Ritzia lovers, you will probably already have recognized these trousers. These are the effortless trousers. Now, these have been all the rage um, on TikTok, on social media, for a good reason. They're a very beautiful fitting pant. The only reason I didn't typically love the um, effortless pant was because of the fabric. It was a very thin fabric and I didn't I didn't love it. Again, like I said, when I look for trousers and, and blazers, I like that very structured material. So that's why I never went for the effortless pant. But thankfully, they have launched a smaller range of the effortless pants in totally different materials. So this one here is the matching trouser to the blazer. So it's actually made out of a twill material, which in my opinion is beautiful and really elevates this effortless pan and makes it just look a little bit more just well, more, <laughs> in my opinion. Um, and like I said, I also got these in a size two. I find they fit very similarly to the agency trousers, which I love. But anyways, be mindful when you're shopping for these because they are not the classic effortless pant and you have to hunt for them a little bit. But if you zoom in on the material, you will know right away that it matches perfectly with the blazer. Isn't she gorgeous? <laughs> for my YouTube gals, if you follow me here on YouTube, you will have already seen and heard about this dress. If you haven't, this is a Karen Millen midi length dress. As soon as I saw this dress on the Karen Millen website, I just fell in love. It was like love at first sight with the dress. It's a midi length dress. You've got buttons running all down the front of the dress. You've got a hint of a puff sleeve at the bottom, which a beautiful seam. And again, you've got those covered buttons as well on the um, cuffs. And then you do have a beautiful high neck, which if you're like me, I typically wear it open and it sits open, very, very beautiful. This one also comes with a belt, which I have taken off because I personally like to wear this dress either with no belt. If I know I'll be eating a lot, I'll skip the belt. Or just a white leather belt to really kind of bring out the whites and creams in the dress. But this has been a dress that, you know, upon first look can be a little bit intimidating and in how to style it. But I thought, you know what? Let me bring it into this video and show you several different ways of kind of wearing this dress in casual ways and dressier ways because again, it's such a beautiful piece and I think I'm gonna be wearing this so, 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 so much in the spring and summer months. Let me show you how I would style this beautiful Karen Millen dress.
had in my wardrobe for quite some time now and these are my black Jacquemus trousers. These are a high-rise wide leg cropped trouser. That was a lot of words. But the reason that they have made it into this video is because I have worn these so 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 much in the fall and winter um, and I still love them and so I thought you know what why not bring them into this video and show you guys how I will be transitioning these pants into the spring and summer because again there's no use in only buying items that you can wear for three months. I love being able to wear my items throughout the entire year and I mean these were such an amazing purchase. They fit so beautifully, the quality is so beautiful and I just couldn't recommend these enough. Although this exact pair is no longer available, they actually did relaunch it in a slightly different material. So the cut will still be the exact same but the material will, will just be slightly different. Um, but yeah, I really wanted to put these in here because again, such a beautiful item and it was such an amazing purchase for myself that hopefully it will be for you guys. Next up in this video is going to be my Burberry trench coat. Now spring has finally arrived which means I get to bring her out yet again. Um, I think this is such a classic and timeless piece. This isn't a new piece by no means but it is a piece that I think is so classic and timeless that it's you know you can just wear it for years and years and years and continue to style it in different ways and so I really wanted to bring her in this video and show you guys how I'll be styling this coat this year I also want to talk about the particular trench coat in case some of you don't know I get so many questions all the time about this particular style and what type of trench coat I got from Burberry because admittedly they have so many different styles that it is quite overwhelming I know when I tried them on and I was like oh my god there's so many different styles and and fits and colors but um 
I personally went with the Kensington, which is the original Burberry trench coat. So it's got the classic boxier fitting silhouette. And I really, really fell in love with the history of this coat. You know, this was their original trench coat. It's got all the original detail. The second reason that I decided to go with this particular style was simply because of the fit. I really wanted a trench coat that was going to be very kind of like relaxed fitting. It was supposed to just fit comfortably over top of sweaters and whatever I was wearing. And the other option that was offered to me was the Chelsea. Now the Chelsea is their newer trench coat designed for women, which is a little bit more tapered around the waist, just a little bit more form fitting all around. And although that trench coat looked beautiful, I feel like you lost a little bit of that like traditional trench coat look. On top of that, myself being a little bit more on the petite side and having like a really tiny waist, bigger boobs, the Chelsea trench coat actually did not fit my proportions very well. There was never really a good fit with the Chelsea. Um, I either, you know, had a size fit my waist and was only able to wear it open because it wouldn't close over my boobs or I'd have to go up two to three sizes for the trench coat to fit my boobs but then at that point the trench coat looked way too big on me and so for me specifically the Chelsea actually did not fit my body shape whatsoever. I think it is a very beautiful trench coat if you want something a little bit different but myself I really wanted that classic trench coat so that is why I went with the Kensington trench coat. I have had lots and lots of people um, telling me that they've been struggling to wear their trench coats um, they don't really know how to style them and how to wear them so I thought you know what this would be the perfect opportunity to show you different ways of styling the classic trench coat. <laughs>
that concludes this video. I really, really hope you guys loved and enjoyed this video. And like I said, let me know if you guys enjoyed this type of video. I think this is the type of video that I'm going to really enjoy being able to make for you guys. But anyways, don't forget to subscribe because I would love to have you guys join the family. As well, I will leave my Instagram up here for you guys, so do follow me there as well. But anyways, that's it for this video. So I will see you guys in my next vlog. Not a vlog. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Mwah.